homeschool parents, does your child love nature and being out in nature? If you're teaching them science about plants, this is a perfect book for you. Make sure you're with me when we take a look inside. Welcome back homeschoolers. My name is Kira. Good to see you. I am looking forward to showing you inside this book today, which is about plants. Now my son loves nature. He loves being out in nature. He loves flowers. He loves the plants. He loves the bugs that are attracted to the plants. He just thinks nature is super cool. He's done doing earth science, you know, more of a nature type focus. So he's kind of out of that for school, but he just loves finding out anything about nature and is constantly telling me all these facts about, mom, that plant's called this, and this is what it does, and this is what bug dies from eating it, and you know, whatever the facts are, he just loves that so much. So I had bought this book even after we did some earth science already, and he was kind of out of that because this was such a great resource. I love the colors in it. It talks about trees, leaves, flowers, and seeds. And definitely a good one to have around the house if you're a gardener or if you've got like tons of garden vegetables that you're thinking of growing anywhere in your area. You could basically scavenger hunt for some of these plants and just go on a nature walk. This book is so good for that. And then you've got some of the exotic plants that may not be anywhere near where you live but again it's a great book to have because maybe your child would want to do a project or a paper on one of these certain plants and just learn more about it and research it so i'm going to take a look inside with you and see if you like it just as much as i do let's take a look inside okay here's the table of contents so it goes over the world of plants non-flowering plants flowering plants living with plants So we're just talking about all the different kinds of seeds, life cycle of a plant, what is a leaf, I think what this book does is it actually encourages you to look a little deeper at plants. You know, sometimes I think we get used to plants, but we don't necessarily think about looking at the details and just how detailed plants are and I think that's where it's a good opportunity for you to go outside with your kid with a magnifying glass. If you have a microscope, I think it's really good to maybe take some different samples from outside and bring them in just to encourage your child to actually see things deeper, see how unique each thing is. It just is, you know, created with such color and detail and purpose. Thought that was so funny look at that <laughs> I mean some things I didn't even know existed so if you have like a pond or a river nearby this is a really good place for you to go and take this book and kind of just look and see if you find any of these things there. Um, I know my son loves cactus, cacti I should say. My son just recently bought a bonsai tree. He is so excited because he so wants to have bonsai trees. I don't know where that interest came from, um, 
Maybe it was from this book and some other videos he saw on YouTube, but he is just so into his bonsai tree kit that he got. And he hopefully will have a bonsai tree here in the next few months, I'm hoping. There you go, bonsai trees. He was looking at all the different ones and he was just so excited to try one. Now we're digging into fruits and vegetables, which I think is really awesome that they added those in here. So I just saw this on a YouTube video the other day from Japan and I didn't even know what it was. Now I do, lotus root, isn't that interesting? Like there's just so many things that we don't necessarily have here in America or see in the area we live in. That's why I really like this book. It gives you a real good idea of other things around the world that maybe you don't get to have a chance to see. Getting into vegetables now. Spices, how people use spices and foods and herbs, one of my favorite topics. All the different products used from parts of plants, which I think is really cool. Plant products used for beauty and for any skin ailments, which I really like that they add that. Then they talk about different plants and parts of the world that are unique. Gardening, and then it has a glossary in the back. Well, let me know in the description below if you like this book. I think it's really cool. Consider getting this one. I will link it in the description below. That way you can easily find it online and just know that I'm here to share other videos. If you would like to leave me a comment and tell me more about you as a viewer and your family, what are the ages of your homeschool kids? I would love to hear about homeschool video topics that you are interested in. If you'd like to leave me a comment below, Tell me more about you. Tell me more about what brought you to my channel and what things you found helpful so far. I'd really enjoy just hearing from you. So make sure you like and subscribe, click that bell, and share this video with another homeschool parent who you think would enjoy it. Until next time, make sure you and your little homeschoolers are shining bright.